Yes. <laughs> so, before I came to work here, I managed to track down... Actually, while the lab opens, I'll just play it. But as the system evolves, we begin to see order, not entropy. Yet, any claim to predict or control that order is either omniscience or hubris. That's the end of chapter two. And I'm afraid our time together, um, before I go, any questions? Anybody, any questions? With Mizrani's recent announcement of a Carnotaurus, is it time we saw a ban on genetic engineering? Well, I, you know, I doubt that you could ban genetic engineering any more than you could ban gravity. You know, it's, it's a matter of restraint, I think, and keeping an open dialogue. Uh, and sure, yeah, maybe fewer bioattractions, certainly. Uh, one more question. Yes? Yes? Um, in your last book, you said you predicted the collapse of Hammond's original park. Uh, predicted? No. I was staggered by the level of arrogance. So it was a random chance? Like a lucky guess? <laughs> no, chaos and randomness are emphatically not the same. We find random events, or so-called acts of God, comforting because they average over time. And then we invent luck and karma and imagine that the universe uh, coalesces into some harmonious state and everything balances out. No, life doesn't work that way. It's sensitive and temporal. And the smallest event has the potential to create catastrophic change to hurl us down a terrifying new path. And we'll never see it coming. We'll never know the cause. The only question is... Can we correct it? Exactly. Can we correct it? That's right. Sorry. Um, who are you? 